Hi guys, I'm Shruti and I'm making today's video to talk to you guys about the most important thing that comes to every person's mind once they start applying to universities abroad is uh, whether or not I will find an internship or a job. So I completely understand where you guys are coming from because I had the same questions and uh, I know we seek answers from our seniors, from people who have been there. But uh, I can tell you one thing with certainty that there's no one answer to this question because no one can really assure you what will happen with you. So it's going to be different for all of us because of our backgrounds, of our work experience, of the industry we want to work in, for the role we want to work in. So it's going to vary and there's no one way that you know is going to get you that job or internship that you would like. But there are five ways that I think are the most important to you know get you a job and if you get these things right then there's no reason why you will not find anything for yourself. So let's get started with the video. The first point is your CV and your cover letter. So this is something that is the first thing that you present to the company, okay? So of course you guys know what a CV and a cover letter is, but still if I were to tell you, it varies from country to country a little bit because of the way they look at, you know, certain formats, certain structure of the documents. So if it's going to be really important for you to follow what, uh, you know, your school is going to tell you. And of course, all the schools are going to give you a structure to be followed and some suggestion and some samples and you can always go to your career center to you know get it reviewed and you know craft that perfect cv or cover letter for yourself so that is the first step that you know most of uh, us just neglect in the beginning because we think you know it's okay but it's really not and it's really important to have the first cv and the cover letter to be absolutely right and absolutely specific when it comes to you know applying for those jobs and internships that you're looking for now coming to the second one is going to be the application time so when a company posts a job or an internship on linkedin or any other portal for that matter it's going to depend on the urgency that the company is looking for uh, when it comes to you know recruiting a person if they're looking for an urgent hire so if you apply at the right time there's a good chance that you'll just get in even if you wouldn't have got in otherwise but it could be the other way around that you do not make it at the right time and be at the right place so it's it's also a little bit about the timing which is not in your hand honestly but yeah it's something that's really important and i've seen that you know if the timing is right people just make it and sometimes it does not work out so you know it's really going to be important to remember that and not feel demotivated when you're looking for jobs and internships for yourself now Coming to the third point, which is again really important, is which industry and which role do you want to work in? So what happens with that is that, you know, if, if the role that you're looking for is something into consulting or anything that is going to require you to, you know, interact with local businesses and local players. So usually what happens in France and Germany is that people tend to speak their local languages more often than not. If you have a better understanding about the local language and you're at a better level than others, then you might be enhancing your chances. So now coming to the fourth point is something related to the previous one, which is your level of French. Imagine this, there's a person A and there's a person B and both of the people have the same profile, but one of them speaks better French and knows French fluently. Obviously it's going to work in your favor and you know, it's going to give you a better chance to grab the job because it's going to be convenient for the company to, you know, make you blend in and uh, give you more opportunities, give you more chances to work at different projects, even local projects for that matter, than a person who does not speak French would. So of course that comes in handy. Coming to the last part, is networking is the key guys the most major reasons you want to study at a top b school is because of the alum network that they build over the years so alumni of your school is going to be working with various companies all across the globe so we have linkedin we have uh, alumni contact available with the college so there's a lot of ways to connect with people that you you know you aspire to become like or maybe if you just want an industry overview or you want to know what the role looks like or you want a referral or anything of that sort any kind of help it's going to come in very very handy if you network with the right people because if you know uh, networking is one of the most major and the most effective way to find a job not just in France but anywhere in general because it's easier for a company 
to recruit people who have been referred by an employee or a previous employee because obviously it's going to save time it's going to save efforts and it's going to be a trusted person who's going to come in so networking is the most important thing so i would say if you take care of all the five points that i've just mentioned i don't see a reason why you wouldn't find yourself an internship or a job that uh, you know you want to i hope uh, whatever i mentioned was helpful to you guys and if you have any other suggestion for any other video ideas i would love to cover those topics up uh, in my next videos so yeah thank you so much for listening and have a nice day bye bye